Thanks for tuning in. This video is a continuation of a previous video that I did that showed how to take a single nadir shot, geo-reference it, and tile it. And from that video, I received a lot of questions asking, well, how do you zoom beyond the default uh, level that Google Maps gives you? When you run GDALTA tiles, you'll get a Google Maps output. And let me just demonstrate the differences. So I started at 18 zoom level. I'm at 19. Now I can go to 20. But Google Maps will not let me zoom beyond that. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I did using leaflet.js and I'll give you guys access to all the code so you can just plug in your tiles and then zoom away. So this is the same map. I'm at 18. Now I'm at 19, 20, 21, and then 22. So you can see how far down we can go uh, just by creating those tiles all the way at zoom level 22. So that's Google and this is leaflet. Let me demonstrate how we achieve this. So if we take a look at this folder, you'll see our different tile zoom levels and folders and a Google Maps file and an open layers file. Now all of these are what come by default when you run the gdial to tiles command. And I'll just demonstrate for those of you that maybe hadn't seen the previous video, there will be a link to it below. But running this command here with our geo-referenced geotiff and output it to this folder, we'll get all of these files automatically created, which is great. So let me mention a couple things about the default Google Maps file. If we take a look at it, you'll see in here there's an API key, and by default, that key is empty. You need to put yours in there. You can see that I have mine. If you guys are doing this just for research or public use, uh, then you don't have to worry about a Google Maps license, but uh, there's commercial licensing if you're trying to charge for uh, viewing these maps. The other thing that I get asked about quite a bit is if we take a look at this Google Map, you can see how the image is somewhat transparent. So there's this opacity parameter. I'll change that to 1 so that you can't see through it, and now you can see that it's just a nice overlay with no bleed through from the background. So that's the Google Maps file. Once again, by default, you can't go beyond zoom level 20. But what I've done is I've created a leaflet file. I'll put a link to this page in the description below. You can basically grab the code, and I'll show you guys what you need to do uh, to modify it for your use. So once again, here's the leaflet page. I'm going in 20, 21, 22, and you can zoom out. Obviously, I can toggle the layer on and off. And that's just all done by this pretty basic code. The leaflet.js API is incredibly powerful. Now, if we look up here, when you access this file, just change this uh, key to your own. You can read about getting a Google Maps API key. It's very easy to do. And then there are two other things you need to change. You obviously want to set your default uh, location of the, the map view. So when it loads, you have your imagery uh, right there available. And then lastly, the custom overlay. Right here, you're going to basically change this to reference any folder that, that you want. Now, if your file, like in my case, leaflet is in the same folder as these subfolders. For example, let's say that I created a new folder and I wanted to uh, organize these and I just wanted to say um, stadium. Okay, and then I'm going to basically put all of my subfolders for that zoom level in here. I would just go up here and change this to stadium. Make sure so now our reference is from the current directory. We have a subdirectory stadium. And then all of our zoom levels, I'll go back here, refresh. You can see that loads nicely. I, I recommend if you're using GDAL to tiles, you want to get your own imagery uh, embedded on your website or just have a view that you can share with others uh, to definitely check out Leaflet. Once again, three changes the API key default location, and then the reference to uh, the tile layer. If it's in the same directory, you don't even have to change anything. So check the link below, go to the page, view the source, and then go through this process and let me know how it goes. Wanted to share that, as many of you have asked. I hope this video was helpful, and until next time, thanks for watching.